Booktube Nation. I'm Sam here again with A Baron of Bee Books and today I wanted to film for you my May TBR. I will also be participating in a readathon, which I will be putting the TBR up for that soon. But I wanted to show you the other things that I plan on reading or trying to read <laughs> in the month of May. First, I'd like to show you two books that I've selected for read aloud options for a nap time here at home. And the first one of those is to continue our Mary Poppins journey. And this is Mary Poppins Comes Back by P.L. Travers. I read the first book to my daughter last month. My um, thoughts on that will be coming in my wrap up soon. So I wanted to put the second book on our May TBR. And another one I picked up for our nap time read aloud is Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. This is one that I found kind of recently maybe in the past year or so but I've been wanting to get to it it's kind of one of those books that you have on your shelves and you just keep thinking about plus it's short I thought this would be a good one because this one is a little bit larger um it depends sometimes with nap time we read more than other days so um I may even get to another one this one of course is all about Mary Poppins and um the Banks family and this one I don't know a lot about but I believe it has to do with immortality and the questions that are associated with that like is that actually a good idea do we really want to do that <laughs> um but yeah I've heard good things and I'm excited to check this one out next I'm planning on joining in on the buddy read um with um Katie at Books and Things I'll link her announcement video down below and this is The Odd Women by George Gissing I do enjoy reading classics. I'll link down below. I just recently did my 100th video um, celebrating my channel and doing a Word Cloud Classics recommendation. I haven't read any Gissing yet and Katie loves this book and I really trust her recommendations. So I'm excited to get to this one and I hope that I'm able to complete it with the group. I think we're doing like two chapters a day or something. I'll link her video down below for more information, but um, I'll be participating in that. And then I'm also planning on doing a buddy read the second half of the month with my mom. Hi mom! Um, this is Lisa Jewell, The Family Upstairs, a novel. Um, I gave my mom a copy of this one as well and we're going to read it together. This is one of the book of the month selections so I'm really excited to get to this. Um, I have to thank Grammy and Papa because they gave me money for Christmas and that was one of the things I did for myself. I signed up for book of the month and I've been doing it ever since. So um, I have a couple more of those, <laughs> spoiler, coming in this TBR for you. But um, this one I don't know a whole lot about. It has to do with a large home or an estate and um, a girl gets told that she's inherited it but something happened. I think there was like a murder many years ago and it starts to unravel. To me, I get the feeling this is gonna be kind of like one of those stories that's like the orange peel where you peel back like layers at a time. My mom has wanted to read Lisa Jewell for a while. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll like this one. And I know she has a couple others out there. And then this year I did a couple of things. I know there's a lot of people on here that do either like um, TBR jars, like physical ones, or they do like a digital version. Um, so I kind of created um, one of each for myself and I've been doing it here or there to pick books off because I have a really big physical TBR. I'm one of those people. Um, I enjoy having a lot of books accessible at once that um, I haven't read so that I don't have to feel like I have to you know, leave my home, especially now, to read the next book or to get something in a different genre maybe that I'm in the mood for. I'm a huge mood reader, so I do try and set TBRs for myself because I like to be very organized, but at the same time, sometimes I'm just not in the mood, so I like to have other options. <laughs> I've been blessed enough um, to be able to have that, and I know, um, you know, not everybody can. There's a time in my life where I wasn't able to do that either. So um, I'm very grateful for having the opportunity to do that. What I wanted to do is to get to some of these book of the month books because I've joined in December and I haven't read any yet. 
and this is my May TBR. I actually had my daughter, I did like a random number generator, you know, like the apps you can download, and I had her select three numbers, and she did. The first one she picked was 36, which on my little key I made, 36 is everyone's talking about it, 10,000 or more. So like on Goodreads have 10,000 people um, read it or reviewed it. So for that one, All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood. This is one of the ones I've read like part of the first chapter or one or two chapters online. I do that a lot before I purchase books now because I am running out of space and I really enjoyed the writing style in this. But I was super apprehensive because there is like a controversial relationship in this. It's a younger person and an older person. And I, I have some opinions on that just based on my personal background and things like that. And um, so I hope that I enjoy it. I, I hear really good things about this. Um, it won Book of the Year in 2016 for Book of the Month. So that's good. I think this centers around a young girl and I think that her family is involved in um, drug sales. And I think that it's her personal struggle to get beyond that and to grow in her own way. I'm hoping to really love this. Okay, then my daughter picked, um, she picked number 30, which on my little key I made for myself is something new. One of the newer books that I have is Lucy Foley's The Guest List, and it said you killed to be on it. So from what I've heard, this has kind of what I get from it is it has um, Agatha Christie's like, and then there were none um, vibes. I own that and I meant to get to it, but I thought, hey, I'll give this one a try. I also, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a mini series on TV a few years ago and my husband and I watched it and we didn't like the ending, but it was kind of like all these people who go to the island and you're trying to figure out a whodunit kind of thing. I really want to read something like that. The world has gone crazy and I want something that's just going to pull me right in. And then this came up on Book of the Month, so it seemed like it was meant to be. And then finally, my daughter selected number 24 which on my chart is a debut. This is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. I don't know a lot about this book, but I've heard amazing things. I know that there's a lot of difficult um, topics in here, and I know that it has to do with overcoming adversity and that the little girl really wants an education. And um, that's all I really know about it, but I've heard amazing things. That's one that I really wanna give a chance to. Those are all the books that I wanted to share with you today on my official May TBR. Um, I have some other things that are still in my currently reading on Goodreads that I need to maybe get to, and I have some books from last month that I left on my TBR shelf that I may still pick up that I didn't get a chance to get to in April. I hope that everyone's doing well, that you're staying healthy and being good to yourself, and um, if you're new, hi! <laughs> I'm Sam, thanks, and if you're returning, Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thanks for being here with me today. Farewell for now. Bye. So yeah, I'm excited to get to this one.